Mate, she's got that ass like she's a bath pa- parachute just <laughs> packed in. I went in with a plan of I am going to go vile, consonant vile, every time I'm picking the letters, just in case I get IRA. <laughs> Oh, fuck. I also love that you got a fly landing on your face yeah, like yeah. some kind of fucking UNICEF ad. <laughs> <laughs> I was fucking arsing about. Get your keyboard off me stage. <laughs> she don't put out. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have you know my mum will put out. You know? <laughs> hey, hey, man, I'll take a lot of insults. <laughs> my mum's a slag. I'll have you know that. <laughs> I fucking right. hate people who are too happy, you know. Oh, oh I hate people. Oh, I hate who, people who, who just smile all the time. I hate life's not that good. Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> who the fuck do you think you are to think you're better than me because you climbed up a hill? I hope you fucking fall down it, you ugly cunt. Yeah. I'll fucking paste you. <laughs> I'll paste you, you QI cunt. Oh, fucking <laughs> shite. No, you're wrong about that. There's but fucking no such thing as a good Korean thing. <laughs> so racist. I was like, oh, what's the difference between a bassoon recital <laughs> and an abortion? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, no. No one's ever cried at a bassoon recital. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, everyone? Uh, thanks for downloading Hot Water's Green Room podcast. Before we kick off with today's fantastic episode, I just want to let you know how you can support the podcast. You can join up uh, as a YouTube member at Hot, Wa- Hot Water Comedy on YouTube. Sign up to be a podcast member for £3 a month. You get early access to the public episodes and a bonus episode each week. Not only that, you'll get access to all of the podcasts that are coming on the Hot Water podcast community channel it's going to be the place to come for podcasts in the northwest hope you enjoy the episode thank you hello everyone and welcome to hot water's green room podcast with me host tony carroll and myself, Jamie Hutchinson, if you don't know who we are by now, then go fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a guest of us, Sony, one of the best shining bright new acts on the circuit, uh, Vittorio Angelone. Yes. Hello. Welcome. Thank you very much for coming, Vittorio. Thanks for coming down, mate. I'm clap myself. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, mate? I'm fucking, I'm yeah. drunk, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's what normally happens when you come on this pod, mate. Yeah. It's just for like, oh, it's all for like you alcoholics. I think of the comedy world. They come onto this pod, and then they just like they speak to us and invent their problems, yeah. and then we help them uh, out. But Jamie fucking took me for sneaky pints earlier because he just stopped doing it slowly. <laughs> initially, he was Getting like, all well, he was like, we'll meet at five, and I was like, all right, five till seven. That's all right, a couple of pints. Yeah. Right. And then he was like, my train gets in at four, and I was like, oh, <laughs> where are we going with this? Get a shower now. Well, and then, but I feel like I've yeah. just splurged all my stories in the pub. Oh, <laughs> well, I don't know if you if you know this, but I am four days sober. Oh, four days, four days sober. sober. We're yeah. nearly there. Yeah. We're nearly there. Very very good. We have a very, thing on the podcast yes. where we're trying to get Tony's seven day yes. badge. Your seven day, but you get a medal from AA for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's, I'm hoping like it's gonna. I, I said like he said, what are you gonna do when you get seven days? I said I'm just gonna get pissed. Big massive party. <laughs> yeah, I, took, I took nine months off over yeah. the pandemic, which is maybe the worst thing. Oh, actually, to, to be fair, that. yeah, I think I went about three, four months off. Of I drank crates and played online poker <laughs> because I don't drink in the house normally. But there was a, a comedian's online poker game, and I'm a good poker player, um, and surrounded by shit poker players that were comedians. Do you know what I mean? And you just—it's just like I'm fucking making decent, yeah, yeah, whack it. A barrel type thing. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, was it for money as well? Yeah, it wasn't for like for oh, ten God, spots. Not, <laughs> oh, I bet you uh, won trial spot. <laughs> <laughs> I see your Thursday at the front. <laughs> and I, I raise you a spiky mic. <laughs> 
That's too far, man. <laughs> hey, hey, that's too far, right, man. Right, cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that, cut that. Um, and I, uh, I was, I, by the end of it, because I was like, oh, you, it's social with me. I need to drink with someone. I yeah. need to, you know, drag them down. <laughs> and, and there was these comedians and that. Oh, you can have a pint on Zoom, and it's it's not the same, obviously, but you can still have a bit of crack and that. And in the end, I was just kind of having crates, a crate of beer a night, and playing like two hundred dollar games against professionals, wow. and just being a gobshite in the in the fucking <laughs> the you know, no, like doing doing spots, but in a chat box on poker doing stars, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was like, you used to live in my nana's box room. You used to have an noticed easy jet. Uh, <laughs> well, at my nine months, because I took it off, because basically when I was drinking, I would wake up most mornings with a real severe sense of dread. Yeah. And then. What, uh, the anxiety kicked in? Yeah, oh, and then yeah. I stopped drinking for nine months and the dread didn't go away. So I was like, I might as well have a fucking dread. <laughs> Woke up in the school anyway, <laughs> so you may as well have a bike. Why am I not drinking? That's not the drink, that's depression. <laughs> Literally, like, I don't know if you guys did. I wake up every morning, like. <laughs> every single day of my whole life. I'm just I, happy that you're alive. No, not happy. I'm oh. just like. And <laughs> 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 just because I'm like, the world exists. Ah right, okay, I get yeah, so yeah. stressed. <laughs> I'm so stressed. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's brutal. Have you, have you have you been, have you had a busy week then? Has it been for, for gigs wise? You know, busy you, week. What yeah. have I been doing? I mean, I've got my my very exciting comedy store first ten Ooh, this Friday, nice. so I'm kind of gearing up to that. That the um, Manchester one. No, London. London, London, London Manchester yeah, one, yeah, the big yeah. one. Manchester one, RIP. You know, the, the proper. Why one? is it called? Uh, <laughs> Deansgate one. Yeah. Oh, well, how long ago is it? It's uh, oh, am I releasing? Just, oh fuck them! They don't book me. Um, <laughs> yeah. Oh fuck! I also love that you got a fly landing on your face yeah, like yeah. some kind of fucking UNICEF ad. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of which, if you want to support the podcast, um, hot just wa- straight in there. Hot Waters Green Room Podcast. Uh, you can join up for the membership for three pound a month. Um, you can get us some oust. <laughs> um, every every think- time I click my fingers, Jamie Hutchinson goes without a pint. <laughs> hey, hey, we're gonna make an ad for you, yeah. And it's just gonna be black and white, uh, and then below it says, "Help Jamie for three pound a month," and it's gonna be <laughs> nothing compares, <laughs> nothing compares to you in a Jemba Jemba shirt. <laughs> 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 I always them. get the shit names. I know, I know but I love them. We get them. Gerard, do they? I love them. Like, like football shirts donated to charity. You see some kid in fucking Palestine in his Celtic Scott Brown top going <laughs> 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 to some fucking Israeli army guy. He's like, why? I'm what? I'm what? I'm what? <laughs> Say something. Oh, fuck. <laughs> God. So the big Ted at the London Comedy Store, you're looking forward yeah, to it, yeah? Man, I'm, do you I'm, ever get? Do you, is that the first time you play with them? I've done, I've done a five. Five I, and I, I, I beat yeah. the gong, and then oh, and then that's and then, what you get. But you, you were selling me in the pub. Your, your mom and dad sort of grease what? pounds or don't want. This is my fucking problem, right? So <laughs> I win the gong, and then I, I'm doing my first five minutes spot at the Comedy Store, and. Basically, it happens that, like, obviously my mum and dad live in Belfast, yeah. but then they happen to be in England, so they like, were like, oh, we'll come into London and watch your first five minutes about the comedy store, because, like, like, especially my parents' generation, they're like, they know the comedy store, though. Oh, yeah, like, that's yeah, the yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. It's the right? name, isn't it? So, yeah. so they come and watch, and they're like, my mum's so funny, she booked, like, VIP tickets, so they're up in this wee, like, separate section. <laughs> like, <laughs> men like, like, fat oh, boys. So and I was like, as long as you're not in the front row, I'm yeah. absolutely yeah, fine yeah, with yeah. it. And I go on, and I'd said to the MC, Alistair Barry in the green room, and I was like, oh, like, my parents are actually in Washington, so it's dead nice. Um, and I went on, and it did great, had a really fun five-minute set. And then after I come off, Alistair Barry goes on, oh, Mr. and Mrs. Angeloni are in, and everyone gives a big round of applause and all. And then after your spot at the comedy store, you have to go and see Don, who, like, owns the club. And he takes you into his office and he gives you a little run. Are you back through, close to Yeah, goes through oh. your set and goes, oh, that was good, that was Can't good. Can't wait to hear about yours. And it's literally like, you feel like you're meeting, do you know when you meet your girlfriend's parents? <laughs> That's 
Soldier. Soldier. <laughs> he, he asked me what I did at uni. Did he? Yeah, I was like, what? Why did he teach all that? <laughs> do you know what I mean? It was fucking strange, but like, Sick so he, to uni, he was like, he was like, you did great, great, great. And then he was like, I'd be great to have you back for a turn. And, and I was like, fucking class. And he goes, but your parents are here. And he was like, yeah. And he was like, oh, well, you will all have to stay for a drink. So after the show finishes, we're all sat in an empty comedy store in London. It's like me, my mum, my dad, my girlfriend, Adam Rowe, because he was on. <laughs> and then like a couple other people. And the tech guys from the comedy store were all just sit having a pint Pints. with the owner of the comedy store. Lost that. But what's mad is for my 10, my mum happens to be in England, like visiting her sister. Again. So she's coming to watch. So the fucking he's owner gonna, of yeah, the he's gonna see, he's, he's gonna, gonna bring you like, the back, isn't he? His mum come to every single one of his gigs. <laughs> he's gonna bring you the back and say, Fuck it, I'll be the first time it works. <laughs> <laughs> it's not working again, fuck off. <laughs> she don't put out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have you know my mum will put out. You know? <laughs> hey. Anyway, I'll take a lot of insults. <laughs> my mum's a slag. I'll have you know that. I won't have you call my mum a prude <laughs> on the internet. Okay. <laughs> like that. Have you done? Have you done the uh, comedy show in London? Yeah. I, Did uh, you get feedback? It's not for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, I let's got, tell us all your feedback oh, was, Jamie. Well, I, I think I've burnt a bridge on the comedy store because I I did a gig with an actor who regularly plays the comedy store. Yeah. You gonna name him? Pro Evo. Uh, <laughs> no, no. It's Mersey Sam, said Blues. Because he, he, he said, he's a mint act. And he Pro went, Evo? Uh, I can't. Um, he's on tonight. Um, History Green. Yeah. Been here. <laughs> yes, been here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> History Green. Give me uh, like good feed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going <laughs> I was good on that. I was good on that. <laughs> I know it definitely. It's definitely. Why did you hear? I heard it. <laughs> so did these then? Yeah. These are the <laughs> fucking. <laughs> these are the Rogan mics. <laughs> Picking up in my internal monologue here. Yeah. <laughs> so, History Green gave yeah. me like, you went, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He went, oh, what are you doing? He, he was like asking me what I'm doing and stuff like that. I went, I, I went, oh, where are they going? But again, comedy. He went, you're not doing comedy store, are you? Be? And he's, you know, really nicely saying, no, you can put my name on emails and mm. stuff like that. I got pissed that night. <laughs> I got twatted. <laughs> and I went home. and I Because I've done a 10 spot for them a few yeah. years ago. The night of the election, because I got pissed on Facebook and started calling everyone in Blythe a rat. <laughs> I just lost my head because they brought me Tory. And um, so I emailed Comedy Store like fucking Eminem in Stan. It's going, right, you either block me or you block me. <laughs> <laughs> so there are your options. And I'm e- emailing you once a week. <laughs> and so you do one of the preferred options, preferably the former. I did that to get on Countdown. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly where we work. <laughs> not eight out of ten casters count down. No, 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 not count the down. one that means you're a very famous comedian. Oh, the actual count. The one down. that means you're a fucking dork. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I love countdown. Yeah, it's like I used to run home from school to get home in time to watch countdown, and I would play along with my mate, and we would tax each other, and also I was buzzing. Sick that. That's, that's that sounds like a lot like the games I played as a kid. But go on, <laughs> don't know what that's referencing. <laughs> but you should have a wank and sound beat the buzzer and count down. So I I was like right I want to have a go. This is before I I did comedy. Yeah, and I was like I want to have a go on this fucking countdown thing. So. I, I email in the application form because it's just open applications, right? Yeah. So I don't get a response and I was a bit annoyed. And then, so I did that, you know, um, in Shawshank Redemption when Andy Dufresne sends the same letter 
yeah. Oh, yeah, every yeah. day For to get the library sort of. belt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so the library belt. Yeah, I was like, course, I'm going to yeah. go full Andy Dufresne on <laughs> Channel 4 Productions. <laughs> so I send them an email every day for two weeks. This The an identical application form just going, <laughs> for your consideration, for your consideration, for your consideration. And eventually, like, right, you can do the phone call <laughs> test thing to see if you can get on. So you have to do a round of countdown. Really? On the phone? Over the phone? Yeah. No um, way. So I fucking have phones in and I'm like scribbling away and I'm like decent at countdown, but basically you have to get seven in most of the word rounds. Generally it's In it's, most of them. Yeah, yeah. So you have to get seven and then you have to nail the numbers around. Basically is how you'd get on the show. Um and Fuck me. And it takes most That's people who get on the show. At least two, most of the time, three attempts at the phone. Because it's weird over the phone. I thought yeah, six yeah, would be the... I know, yeah, I thought a little six would be nice, yeah. Yes, yeah, it's like tricky. It changes know. because it's predetermined sets of letters where they know you can get a seven. Ah, right, yeah. Oh. It's not like it's random. Like yeah, it's show, yeah, yeah. So you can see a suffix... Because you look at an ings and you're like... Ing, you got to get an ing Could you just cheat or on, or just on your phone, by the way, on Google? Fuck me. Yes, listen... Oh, I'm he's a man of honor. <laughs> he's a man of honor. <laughs> if we're not getting count, <laughs> listen. If we're not taking <laughs> not games just, of countdown with honor, what that, are we doing? Imagine if that was me, this guy'd be like, this guy's a fucking genius. <laughs> I'm sitting there on Google like that. <laughs> get on, get get on the show like that and like that. Dog. <laughs> um, I've got a two. <laughs> <laughs> mate, mate, that was me, right? <laughs> Cheating you out to go count up. So I, did Rachel Riley. I did good. I did the first two, and the guy was like, ah, fuck. And then he phoned me up once, and I was ill, and I was like, man, I'm really not good. And I like formed a friendship with this producer of Countdown. And he's like, man, we'll do it tomorrow. If you're not feeling well, we'll do it tomorrow. Don't worry about it. So I'd do the phone call tomorrow. And then, like, we were so having such, like, like just banter on these phone calls. Yeah. And then oh. I got to the last one, and I said the word that I'd got. And he went, did you mean. Then a slightly longer word, and I went, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Oh my! So he gives God. me a seven instead of a six, yeah. and I get on the show, and I was like, "Fucking right, here we go." So I go on countdown, and I think I caused Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's sake! That's a, go on, <laughs> hey, go on. Let's hear this go one. On. Join these two dots. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> two things happen on countdown. I'll do the Brexit one second. The first one that happened is I went in with a plan of I am going to go vowel, consonant, vowel every time I'm picking the letters just in case I get IRA. <laughs> <laughs> that's, quite, that's quite funny. It's because I know it'll funny. go viral. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's called that. So every, if you watch the episode back four or they are all four yeah. or whatever it's called now, every round I go vile, <laughs> yes. constant vile, vile, constant vile. And I'm just Adam, and it's gonna happen. Yeah. And the guy I was against who'd beaten seven people before me was just this mad, like autistic guy, just stacked yeah. shelves in Sainsbury's and played countdown. <laughs> and he fucking loved it. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking He fucking loved it. And everybody hated him. His name was Brendan. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. History Greener. Pro Evo. Pro Evo. Pro Evo. His name was Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> I go to him. Uh, apparently after every episode, because I, even after, I was the eighth person he's, he'd beaten. And he went up to Rachel Riley and was like, oh, can I get a photo? And Ra I was there. Rachel Riley was like, you've got a photo seven times. So he's like, I want, I want to get one for oh, every fucking ass. Oh, he's like, that, no. like that, da, 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 da. eight photos though. Why do you yeah, need eight photos? Yeah, he's fucking That's why I've seen her. She's very, she's, she's heavy, isn't she? So, is she so, a bit of a dickhead? Though? She comes no, across. So this, so this is the thing, oh, right? So this is like, this is years ago now, and 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 I did me and got absolutely trounced by this guy, yeah. Brandon. <laughs> 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 I did all right, but an IRA came up. Did they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's sick. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And when it came out in the January, yeah. I think I filmed it in November, it came out in January, I filmed myself watching it, going like, I, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> R, O, oh, fuck. And then A, and I went, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> it's the most views I've ever got. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. massive, man. Yeah. Um, and basically I went up to Rachel Riley and it was a bit like, you're nervous, first time on a TV set and yeah. all this stuff. And I just went up there and I was like, 
and her and Susie Dent, I was like, oh, I think it's re-, like, just didn't know what the fucking said. And I was like, oh, I think it's really cool that you guys like, you know, um, like use your platforms on social media, like promote like cool causes and like stuff you believe in or whatever. And, and I meant maths education. But Rachel Riley, <laughs> in the, ne- the the following months, the anti Corbyn thing, took down Jeremy Corbyn <laughs> oh, yeah. on Twitter, yeah, yeah, yeah. destroyed the Labour Party. <laughs> <laughs> but you gave me that pep talk. I think it was me. <laughs> so I think I caused Brexit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! That's amazing, that you know. No, nah, that's so funny. Oh. <laughs> she oh. must have got paid by the Tories to do that. I don't know. She's a big, know, she's a big Tory, isn't she? She's just a rat. Isn't she? yeah. Fit rattle. Oh fucking! She's mega. a fit rat, isn't she? <laughs> oh very, mate, very attractive yeah. lady. Yeah, attractive yeah, lady, yeah, like. Hello, yeah, Vaudum yeah. was my first Vaudum crush. In. That was my first crush. That <laughs> her Instagram comments recently. Who's? Carol Vaudum oh. she's fully, she's lent in fully because, like, it's so funny the generational difference. Where with like Rachel Riley and the new girl that got hired, um, they're all like, she has a degree in X, Y, and Z. <laughs> I'm like, actually, she's very, very clever. And the reason she's been hired is because she's very, very clever. And I'm like, the reason she's been hired is. 20% she's very, very clever, and 80% she's super fucking hot, yeah. right? And that's it. But Carol Vorderman doesn't give a fuck if anyone thinks she's clever. She's got, like, massive fake she, tits, oh, she's and she's, like, hit, plastic mate. surgery up the wazoo, and all these fucking comments are just like, I'd fucking destroy you, <laughs> God. Mate, she's and she, like, like, she oh. like them. <laughs> oh. I want to comment on it after this. Mate, she's got that ass like she's a badly great. packed parachute. Just <laughs> <laughs> packed in into a tight little fart. I just wanted to hold me and tell me everything's going to be alright oh no I wanted to fart on my nose oh, I, don't I, just, I just want to do Bitter sums to me in bed <laughs> she's God. fucking stunning Carol V mate she's amazing I love her man um, so how long have you been going for because I, I right so Ben's I, who's asking <laughs> yeah an agent is I'm, it the Gilded Balloon so you think you're funny <laughs> no. I started last week <laughs> <laughs> official, official, my strategy. Well, I did a new joke tonight, so we technically started tonight. Yeah, <laughs> that was good as well. Went down well. Oh, so I, I, um, I found Vittorio to like just off clips, just on a fucking rabbit all the clips. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, who the fuck is this con? Every clip is just fucking banging. I was like, you know, and then I found out it's only like three and a half years, maybe at the yeah. time. How long have you been going for? So about four now. Oh, yeah. so four, maybe, so yeah. maybe six, eight months ago. I was like, and where are most of them clips getting filmed? I well, just film them on my oh, phone. Oh, do you, oh, for, oh for, for each time you're gigging somewhere? Yeah, I, oh, and I just. Mate, yeah. Wish I'd done that when I was using it. Oh, mate, he's so good. Um, and I was like, I was, you know, when you're like, I've been going double the length of time of this guy, yeah. and he's. I'm looking up to him. That's <laughs> 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 oh, so nice. Uh, so good. Um, you had a bit. You mentioned like the competition thing. We've had beef with competitions. Uh, me and Tony are both. Yeah. Both, both of our competitions, you know, like yours on BBC. We've both been robbed. Ours was on BBC, and mm-hmm. the highlights were on fucking Crime Watch. <laughs> <laughs> you know who you are. You know who you are. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yeah. The more podcasts I do, the more bridges I burn. <laughs> 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 I love it though. Oh, <laughs> yeah. See if you're watching this, please buy tickets to my shows because I've no other option. <laughs> Bad out of everywhere else. You can only do like, independent stuff though. Do you know what? That's the toss up of appearing on people's podcasts. You simultaneously build an audience and lose yeah, every yeah, producer yeah. in the world. <laughs> I saw you were a cunt. Pro Evo. Pro Evo. Okay. On the pavement. <laughs> you. <laughs> you. You on the pavement. <laughs> you, you saw me. You saw me in a completion show and said I need to work harder. <laughs> oh, I need to work harder. Hey, is this working harder? I've left me job. <laughs> But if anyone wants to sign me, <laughs> <laughs> I will sign. I will sign in blood tomorrow. I'll sign whatever you want me to sign, bro. 
I'll be like those musician Taylor Swift that, that you can own all my jokes do whatever the fuck you want <laughs> which way did you start where did you start off then back home was it I no actually no. people think that somebody said this to me within a year of me starting in London yeah. somebody came up to me and I would just like would run open mics because I thought that's the best way to get stage time yeah somebody in London in, yeah, 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 yeah yeah and some, some guy was like Oh, you're that guy who's massive in Belfast but never really made it in London. <laughs> I was like, I've just started. <laughs> <laughs> I've never even performed back home. <laughs> I literally have <laughs> that piece. I've like, literally yeah. never gigged in Belfast once. Sick that. But my first ever gig, because I'm a fucking psycho, um, I was just at uni yeah. and I was a student union vice president, but it was a small uni, so you didn't have to take a year out to do it. I was just like still a student doing that. Yeah. And uh, we were like booking the Freshers Week events. And I was like, oh, I, I really like stand-up comedy. We should put on a comedy night on, like, the Tuesday of Freshers Week. And I was like, I'll host it. I'll just MC the yeah, thing. Because yeah. I just didn't know any better. I'd just been to a couple of nights and was like, I, I can do it. What do you do? <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> uh, yeah. I can do that. Yeah. So my first ever gig was hosting to, like, 300 people. Fresh and an SU gig. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Must have been rather that. But no. But the thing is, I went to such like a dorky uni. Like oh. I studied classical music. So they respected the arts. <laughs> music college. They respected the arts, didn't they? Know? You just do like the most niche jokes ever. Like I wrote bits that will never work anywhere else. Yeah. Where it's like, so it's a classical music university, and I was like, oh, what's the difference between a bassoon recital <laughs> and an abortion? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh no, no one's ever cried at a bassoon. <laughs> 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 that wouldn't work anyway. Yeah, it fucking would. What you do to light the whole water? <laughs> oh man, oh, that was amazing. Man. <sighs> God. So uh, I did that, yeah. and I remember the lineup was Josh James, who's like a comedian from Essex. Oh, he's good, really, yeah. really good. I've not seen him live, but I've seen clips of him. As did you just go around to the, to the, to the show, good. other shows, and just like say, "Do you want to come and do this gig?" I I, I went to watch Ken Gong, yeah. and Josh had won it. Ah, right. So you and I just found him yeah, on yeah. Facebook, messaged him, and then a friend uh, was with the musician for Abandaman. If you know Abandaman, fantastic yeah. act. Those like uh, rap stuff with like a musician like improvised, sure. but it's like. The problem is when you describe it, it sounds like the worst thing <laughs> you've ever seen yeah. in your whole life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, he's really fucking good at it. Yeah. Um, so he came in headline and like did a discount because he was at the uni and all yeah. that shit. So, and it was just mad. Did that once a month for like the year of term time. I was getting it, busy. I was busy that that, that like about yeah. hundred. Like the Freshers Week was obviously yeah, the yeah. Both one get a good cloud and all. Yeah, hundred people oh, most good, times. Yeah, yeah. And just literally like just making stuff up, riffing, like talking to the crowd. Didn't have any material yeah. written beforehand, and then. Uh, I finally went to like doing open mic. And my first ever gig, I did one liners, but like alternative one liners. Did you? I did five minutes of one liners that all had the same punchline. Oh, that's <laughs> uh, fucking art, arty. <laughs> but I, but I started. Yeah, I, I did, I did deadpan for a bit. You know, mm. like Jack D sort of. Did you? Yeah. Style and it's. Pull the opposite to what I do. Actually, I'm talking like I didn't have a different act when yeah, I first started. But you just like, was a weird I, was just like, like I, I thought it was a character act to me. Maddest example of that I've ever heard. And this is, and to get very <laughs> wanky about it, there's a playwright called David Mamet. And he says that the, the process of becoming established as an artist is the process of closing a series of doors. Because when you do your first gig, you can do anything. You could get up, you could do puns, you could do dark stuff, you could do stories, you could do observational, you yeah. could do literally Blank alternative, canvas, yeah. whatever you want. And no one has any expectation of you and you don't have any expectation of yourself. Um, but as you, as people start to know you and you start to know yourself and get into a rhythm of doing what you do, like I can't get on and do one-liners, I can't get on and do like alternative stuff as much because by myself and by the audience, I'm kind of trapped in this. Little, like, not a, it's like I like what I do, but no, it's just no, like you yeah, can only yeah. do so, so many things. Best example of that, uh, Jimmy Carr's first ever gig, he had a guitar. Sounds like him, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> as long as he didn't have a bassoon. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one comic with bassoon stuff. <laughs> Sign me. <laughs> the bassoon. Sign me. <laughs> yeah, I started with the character act me. What was the character? Character of oh, getting man, this is so funny. Domestically abused by his girlfriend. <laughs> But, but it wasn't domestic abuse. But do some of the stuff. 
I know, don't do your set, but like some of the oh. stuff you said was domestic. Oh, like I'd go on stage and say, hi, I'm Tony Carroll, and I suffer from domestic violence. That was me over the line. <laughs> and then I'd try and give a straight face because it was hilarious. <laughs> and then people would be like, what the fuck's this? But I, I'd be saying it was domestic violence, but it wasn't. It was just silly stuff like she'd make me beans on toast with one piece of toast. <laughs> That's just, so funny. That's and like she'd wake, up, she'd wake me up in the middle of the night and she'd be screaming and shout, where's me fucking lighter? And I'd go, the only problem is she doesn't even smoke. It's <laughs> like silly stuff. Like it. It was yeah. fuck it. It was, That's it, funny, man. When it, when, it, when it worked, it worked. Like yeah, if it got yeah. the because the audience would be like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah. And then it was all silly stuff, you know what I mean? But. Uh, yeah, I, I thought, but I thought because when you do stand up, if you, I, I know loads of actually done characters because it's like hiding behind the character. Yeah. So when you go on stage, you, you're like, well, it's not me anyway. So yeah. I'm just playing the character. You know what I mean? That's so a, that's exactly what my logic was. Yeah, but yeah. I didn't do it as a character. I did it as a, you know, a persona. And I was like, I, you know, when, when I was at school watching Mot the Week and stuff, because we're the same age. Yeah. It was like, you know, oh, Frankie Powell said this, but here's how much of a virgin I was. I'd play along to mock the week. Do you like um the wheel thing? No, do you like um here's a question. Here's the answer Here's the, the answer to question. I'd play along to it. I was yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. obsessed with stand up. Was you yeah? Yeah, I'd play along, I'd oh, come on hate stand up. I'd come here. <laughs> <laughs> We're podcasters now, baby. We're broadcasters. Oh, I love podcasts. <laughs> Especially those who sign up for three pounds a month. I just love being in people's ears. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I'd, I'd play along to all this stuff, and I was kind of influenced by what because I'd never watched stand up really, apart from fucking Spaz Night. I went to Comedy Balloon. There was like a bunch of spazzies there, so like, well, I'm not, I'm not going to be the shittiest on the night. I'll sign up next week. At least I'm not better than oh, these. Oh God, Jamie! Fucking gaggle of these cancel soon. These gaggle of mongs, fucking arsing about. Get your keyboard off me stage. <laughs> Get your keyboard off me stage. <laughs> this is the arts. Oh fuck. So, oh, so, but I went on. I was like, um, dark, but I didn't want to do dark material. But don't, it gets a reaction. Just a lot of people do exactly. That I was, I'll drive an ooh, yes, then, then, oh, then silence, then yeah, a, yeah, yeah, then a, oh. <laughs> 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 oh. Oh. <laughs> that's like his fucking classical music. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the soon an abortion. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they didn't like that joke. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I, I had this, and it, it's you know I used to do pun just puns on just dark material, it's just really mm. low hanging fruit stuff. And I'm like you, if it went shit, I was like, oh, they just don't like that persona. Yeah. It's and then you know, just you being it's just lazy a, and it, shit. Yeah, it's just a comfort this. blanket, isn't it? Yeah. For, for, but it works, but that and is... because it works, you're like. I've got to do this because yeah, it works, it, yeah. rather than take a risk and just be yourself and be shit for a bit. Well, that's the thing. Do you remember the first time you done a gig though, where you was just yourself and you smashed it? Because it's well better feeling it than being. Oh, you know what unbelievable! I mean? Cause when I done that character, it'd, be, it'd hit and miss sometimes. Honestly, I'd take the fuck on roof off of the character, but it was, I never felt it was real. Like oh, yeah. so, then when I, when I went to my own stuff and, and storytelling and what what we pretty much all do, I've what, what, what seen everyone here, so. Like with that kind of stuff, and and it's and it means something more, and it's that it's it's yourself when you when you actually do well on a gig, it's fucking all better feeling, isn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, that's the thing of like, um, in je- in life and in comedy, like I prefer an authentic dickhead than like a fake nice guy. Yeah, so, yeah. You know what I mean? Like one of your mates, you're like, he's a dick, but he can't be anything else. Like that's just who he yeah, is. Yeah. Whereas you get a guy who's like. You never know what he actually thinks because he's just like, oh yeah, that's great, man, and you're just like, what yeah, the fuck. Yeah. I fucking what? hate people who are too happy, you know. Oh, I hate people. Oh, I hate who, people who just smile all the time. I hate Life's pe- not that good. I hate people who are happy, <laughs> unless you're drinking. There's another. There's another. Don't think I'm gonna make it again. There's though. a. There's a. <laughs> no. Four days. That seven days gonna be fucking electric though. <laughs> <laughs> In 2025, when you get that seven days, <laughs> we're gonna have a fucking sick we're party. Um, I hate people recently. Who are openly bettering themselves? And End of sentence. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean giving themselves credit? For, for no, nothing? just just subtly look what I've done. But um, 
with a shiny object. So uh, the perfect example is views. Mm. I hate views. Right. So countryside, you know, countryside views. Subscribe to YouTube. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm hungry for them views. <laughs> I mean, I love them views. I mean, countryside views are. Oh like, right, <laughs> that's, that's that's you so fucked up. Yeah, I was thinking the <laughs> same as you then as well. Yeah. What? I was like, you talking about the algorithm? <laughs> Not the algorithm. It helps the algorithm. Comment, comment below. I comment. Comment algorithm below. And, and for three pound a month. You could help our algorithm. <laughs> Comment algorithm and give me three quid now. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> Write a fucking joke. Can you imagine <laughs> fucking homeless guy going, fucking comment algorithm <laughs> and give me three quid for the algorithm? <laughs> I'm just working on my algorithm. You think homeless guys think about like yeah, yeah. people walking past us and algorithm? Like, they're like, when I do this, it gets loads yeah, of engagement. Yeah. Uh, with, with a little like, sign, like, life's just one big algorithm. Yeah. <laughs> with, with a look, oh, like the so Matrix. Fucking with a, th- threw me off a bridge, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm have, a, have a little sign. We'll give an- anecdotes for algorithm boost. <laughs> 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 or you could be the opposite, the homeless guy going, "I'll comment on your YouTube video for three quid." <laughs> I'll retweet. We'll retweet for food. <laughs> <laughs> we do it though. We're hanging cunts. <laughs> oh, there's no artistic integrity left in the world. Patreon.com for us. Oh my oh, god. god, we're disgraceful. Oh. <sighs> you were saying something, sorry, Andrew. You were talking about views. views, views, views. views. Yeah, like scenery. Yeah, I hate it. Landscapes. Get it on a fucking fridge magnet. Fuck off. <laughs> Ram it down my throat. Because there's some cunt who you went to school with and the fucking, you was a fucking dickhead in school and now you think you're better because you've shifted a bit of timber and you post it at 9am and you post this, look at this lovely view over some shitty little hill in the Pennines. <laughs> and you're not saying look at the hill. You're That's saying... what you're typing. You're saying look at me. <laughs> Who the fuck do you think you are? <laughs> Who the fuck do you think you are to think you're better than me because you climbed up a hill? I hope you fucking fall down it, you ugly cunt. You was high on a fucking hill at nine in the morning and he was high in his kitchen with his mate on the coke. Exactly. <laughs> do you know what's worse? <laughs> Saying we should start a band <laughs> and I'd be the chief bassoonist. Is that what you want? <laughs> Three pound a month. <laughs> The worst, the worst than that is like fucking. I've had worse Tuesdays, mate. <laughs> mate, this. So, so I wake up, I wake up, and I'm, I'm running late. I'm running late. Gets on the bus, gets on the bus, right? <laughs> it's the wrong bus. It's the wrong bus. And we go to a stop. That's going back on myself. I finally get on the right bus. I'm stuck next to someone. Smell like, How's your Monday going? My Monday's going fucking sound. <laughs> Because I'm not a boring cunt like you, you <laughs> fat slag. I'm glad you're on the wrong bus. I hope you get a verbal warning from work, you ugly cunt. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking how's your Monday going? Uh, how dare you ask how my Monday's going? <laughs> Who the you don't fuck know me. You think you can infiltrate my week? Fuck you. You don't know me. I, there was a guy in my uni in my year. He was a fucking idiot. <laughs> and he, he had this idea. He watched like one YouTube video or what seems to be half a YouTube video on how to lie convincingly. <laughs> and it's all How to lie. It's all thing. He's a guy from Essex and he went, this seem right. All you need to do, right? If you fucking lie into someone, all you need to do is you say you lie and then you ask them a question. And then they'll forget what you said, right? So ask me a question. Ask me, go ask me a question. All right. Uh, what what time? What time are we going to the cinema? Nine o'clock. How was your day? <laughs> <laughs> so you just lying about what time we go to cinema? <laughs> you said. You said. Did you say? What did he say? He asked me how my day was, but I'm sure he said. <laughs> 
I'm sure you said that. That was always his question. No matter what the like, the like sure girlfriend said, going no. to you cheat on me. No, I was your thing. <laughs> <laughs> Did you leave it in? <laughs> nah, I was, I was your thing. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like a running joke with my mates. And they try to be like, no, 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 I was your thing. But that's that's happening now. Which? You know, when um, uh, Putin was interrogated on Russian State Tower. Oh, yeah. He went, have you invaded Kiev? He went, no, I was your thing. I was your thing. Fuck off. That's what happened. Fuck off. Man. Swear down. <sighs> <laughs> It'll probably be over by the time this comes out. <laughs> when does this come out? 2030? <laughs> <laughs> We've got seven years of back. We're going into it, man. This is it. This is not fucking about, are they? Um, what well, I wanted to bring up about new act composition. <laughs> <laughs> when was that? 20 minutes ago? <laughs> Oh, mate, Vittorio got ratted out, mate. What? Oh, man. Tell the story, man. Uh, Pro Evo. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so you reckon you're hilarious? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's got to be a bit more subtle than that. <laughs> so, you, uh, so you think you're hilarious? <laughs> <laughs> right, it's okay, okay, okay. So I, I don't think they'll get on that. I know. <laughs> And it was delayed a year by COVID. Yeah. Um, so obviously there was an extra year span of like, because I entered 2019 and the competition wasn't until 2020. And it's, there's rules really that you've got to yeah, only be going for so long. a certain number of months and whatever. And I, I do the heat and I get through to the, uh, the finals. I get into the quarterfinal. And, and even before the quarterfinal, the, the woman gives me a ring who organizes and says, look, we've had an email, an anonymous email from an older comedian saying, you might have been going too long to do this competition. What a fucking sausage you have, you are. Mad, right? Who cares? Why? Who cares? Got the time. What older comedian gives a flying fuck, right? Yeah. But, um, and like, you got that from Julie Churchill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Julie Churchill. Place for a mercy side blue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, so we're going to get us in trouble. This is pro evil, you know. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but she, <laughs> she says, right, I've had this email and I went, I'll be up front with you. I'm slightly outside your boundaries for the rules, but I don't think I'm pulling the wool over your eyes. I think I'm within the spirit of the competition. I don't like yeah. it's the first year I've heard about it. I did it the first like whatever. And she's like, Oh, you're not like some headliner from Ireland, you're coming over trying to and I was like, Absolutely not, that's yeah, not yeah. the case, whatever. She's like, I appreciate you being up front. We're happy for you to keep going. But thanks for telling us you're slightly yeah, yeah. outside the thing. I was like, Great. And then they announce the semi-finalists because I get through online and apparently they get a tidal wave of emails. From a anonymous. tidal wave. Yeah. It. <laughs> 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 and from people saying, oh, he's been going too long. From older acts, all anonymous just coming through. It's just boring, isn't it? And I have, they were like, we're going to ask you to st- like step away from the competition. That's just I can't believe the grass. Think, and, and to think. Because for me to have spoken to them and gone, look, up front, this is what's right. happened, whatever. It's a fucking shame, though, no? because if you would have got far in that competition or won it, it's, f- it's good for your career. It's you know great, I mean? and, it's f- and, it, and they're just but spoiling it because these, these they're rats, sad cunts. They right? can't, can't qualify. get a gig because you're exactly. not funny. You <laughs> never <laughs> have been. We're the new wave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm if you don't have a sure SM7B, you're going nowhere. <laughs> By the way, right? the COVID probably took all them out cunts out anyway. I oh, know. <laughs> Fuck you. I just. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just, I just hate that fucking. I hate the, pol- the politics of fucking... comedy. It's so bitchy, mate. It's, I work in a club game now, and it, I thought that was bitchy. But the comedy, mate. Oh, it's mental, people would stab you in the back for the ten spot. It's fucking <laughs> oh, it's horrible. Cool, isn't it? I love it. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> I do miss it. Like <laughs> I do miss slagging people it's, off. Yeah, it's lucky I've got the sharpest knife. <laughs> <laughs> but see the podcast stuff. Like it's fucking. Like that's where that's what's great about it, and I've found it very much in the northwest. Even though I'm based in London, yeah. people going, "Hey man, I'll give you a leg up. I'll fucking put you on this. I'll, put you fair, on this. I'll li- recommend you to this." I Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool comedy, and Manchester comedy, Preston, so that, yeah, like the quite the north, yeah, is always being quite close. Even in yeah, we'd always always have a go at each other and slag. I'm, I'm messing around and slag. You know what I mean? But like not 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 vicious. Like we yeah. see other stuff like that by grassing someone up over a few months, missing missing a. 
competition dates and stuff like that. But the podcast games, are pretty much yeah. the same. We've know? always united yeah. against those fucking shite London cunts. Yeah. Oh, you've got an haircut. You wear dungarees, do you? Oh, a mustard coloured jumper, and you don't know how to undo a girl's bra. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. Come to the north and do a 20 in a working men's club. Yeah. I'll fucking paste you. <laughs> I'll paste you, you QI cunt. <laughs> I've <I'm> had one. <laughs> I just love the... No Pro Evo in that there, though. <laughs> no. I just okay. love just the... straight into a Jamie. <laughs> I just love the fucking does a bit and then goes, so I'm single. And you're like, ah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, right. we fucking know you are, you weirdo. Oh. I hate that. Oh, I prefer maths and undoing a girl's bra. And I know you fucking roofie a girl. We were doing the sex. You fucking. <laughs> 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 you fucking get your jumper off and do a fucking joke. Did you see that guy, American guy, Ryan something on Twitter, did a whole, uh, re- he was like, pretended he was announcing a special, and he was oh, like, the white girl the, name. The, he was like, I like doing white girl oh, names instead of punchline. So and it know? was just loads oh. of clips of him going, okay, Sharon. So I was like, sure, Heather. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of comics throw in a couple of white girl names instead of punchlines, but... No one has the balls to do 45 minutes <laughs> of white girl names instead of punch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's, like, he's got funny. like his, um, got a pause breaks in and then like <laughs> does like a pretend topper of Pauline. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, it's fucking it's hilarious. What, 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 so when you said you, like comedy in uni then, was that, was that close to the circuit or was that like big head? No, like that the, was, no, that was the just. The telly comedian stuff was like that. That was just at the that? SU. For that first one we had a budget so I booked the band, the man and Josh yeah. and it was great. And then for the other ones, I would go to an open mic yeah, and just pick I'd, my favorite acts and go here. Do you want to do ten instead of five? And I hadn't a fucking clue. Some of them didn't have ten. Do you know yeah, what I mean? I was yeah. just like, "You were great. Come do ten. Oh. You were great. Come do ten. And it was mad because I, I unknowingly was giving people like their first paid gigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, ever, but, but I was just like, "Oh, we you need, were we need more people like you yeah, in the game. You oh, <laughs> more <laughs> fucking idiots." Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Looking based on talent and not haircut and dungaree wearing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah, you word. You word. <laughs> Off the pavement. <laughs> <laughs> that said, I am a free agent. <laughs> 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 So what's the plans then? This the rest of the rest of this year then. What, what's, what's the plans? What, what, we we want to hear. We want to hear a, a full year plan. A plan. Building up to Edinburgh. Do, nice. Doing my debut hour long show Lovely. in Edinburgh. Um, got pre- have you got an hour in yet? Place. As in, if I have I done? Uh, yeah, yeah. Are you working towards it? Or you, well, I've done. I've done four work in progress. Oh, now. yeah, oh, It's funny. The first one I did. Uh, so I went out because I know people know me from social media, like for doing crowd work and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I thought. And it was like really like the Paul Smith thing where he was like, I go out before my opener yeah. and do crowd work and yeah. then bring on the opener. I was like, that makes sense. Because he yeah. was like, I know people want to see that. So what, one of the that. things I hated when seeing Paul, like do, doing what he'd done a few years ago, which was brilliant to me, go for mm. close mates of mine, and seeing comments what people are now saying, how's that going to work? He's shit. He only speaks to the ground. Hey, Have you seen his material? It's, it's so it's funny. It's so funny. And, but like, it's I'm funnier than his crowd work. London like, show. His crowd I, work is not that funny. To I saw London's the worst for that. Yeah, it's the amount of London comedians is just like, but he just he just MCs. Yeah. Like, no, no, number one, no. he MCs better than anyone yeah. you've ever <laughs> yeah. seen. He's and number two, comedian. he can, he would f- bury you in yeah, a 20. I know. Bury you in a 20. I mean, it's, Unplayable yeah. following, yeah. And I, I say that as an hour as well. Yeah, but I've seen him do an hour, and it's not all you know, like jovial, boisterous stuff, which is kind of normal. Oh, that's what it is. And it, stu- But it, there's a clear structure. It all yeah. wraps up at the end, and you're looking at these, you know. And if it was some fucking cunt in a mustard jumper with a curly haircut doing it. It'd be fucking. What's with you and mustard jumpers? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Jumpers, it's just mustard jumpered comedy. Do you know what someone c- s- said it to me? It was a comedian, and I won't oh. say them because I don't want to. But probably uh, Evo. <laughs> <laughs> John Footley. Oh, wait, K Footley. <laughs> <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
<laughs> and it's not even bad about him, but oh, that the brewery was funny, isn't it? Mix every one of the comedians are watching it. I don't know. Yeah. Could be you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the Black Hour. He, he was saying to me, there's a, there's a Korean film called Old Boy. I don't know if you've seen it. Oh, no, no. He not. just told me about what it is and like... <sighs> I think it it might be you know the guy who directed Parasite, but it's among that kind of school yeah, of yeah, Korean yeah. directors. Oh fucking <laughs> shite! No, you're wrong about that. There's but fucking no such thing as a good Korean thing. So racist. Park from Park Ji Sook. Park from Park Ji Oh, I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I just hate this. I, I've watched a Korean drama. Fuck off and get off that hill. <laughs> I had get a, off that hill. I had, I had a Korean joke in my set for a while, but it never really. It was. I'm, I'm try, I was joking about. I'm trying to learn Korean, but I keep going to these lessons, and I'm not very good. I'm, I'm not very like studious, so I've only learned one phrase. So it's only to get away with not doing, like studying and stuff. <laughs> and the, the phrase in Korean is "suje no nege mogoso." And that's that's proper Korean, and it means uh, the homework ate my dog. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That, that is so good. That is good. That. Yeah. And got me out of that racist hole. <laughs> <laughs> Where, what, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, old boy, right? So it's about this guy, and some, uh, somebody's killed his whole family, and they've put him in prison, and he's just in a prison, but like by himself in this prison cell, he just trains himself to be a killing machine and he's just punching walls punching walls punching walls and this comedian was saying paul smith is the old boy of stand-up comedy he was just in liverpool just getting better yeah. and better and better and better and then in old boy they release him into korea and he just kills everyone involved <laughs> with whoever killed him and he and paul smith just got released on the uk and just oh, destroyed man, just everywhere he was just letting he's just been punching I this fucking brick cause wall because paul, paul through hot water had that much time on stage, and that's the thing. You have to just, grow in the you're dark. Just, you're just you have learning to get your craft. You're yeah. dangerous. You've, isn't it? you've still, you've still got to do it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah don't get me wrong. It hasn't been handed to him. You know what I mean? It's no, not no, funny. No, no, no. But I mean, having that stage time, like the hours you got every week. Well, you get, you get like tired of that. Oh, he just sort of the crowd. See his show. Just watch his show. I think people haven't seen him do it, and it's just so silly. But it's not even like a twenty. You know, he has a. A proper defined beginning, middle, and end, yeah. and it's a satisfying show to watch. Yeah. You know what I mean? His old one, don't, his new one might be shy. <laughs> 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 it's, it's 2017 to us, so it's class. No, uh, yeah, no, he, he, he's his I've boy. seen him put, he puts he's a lot of time to shows, and then there's a meaning behind it. It's a proper sh- written show, yeah. and then yeah. when you see them comments, and it's just like, fuck off. Like, because yeah, well, you're watching them, because you're watching the clips that went viral years ago, like, fuck yeah. off. Which are also great. Yeah, great. Yeah, life. It's fucking yeah. silly. Um, oh, so you got done dirty by a fucking. Oh yeah, I was on. Uh, I was on with an act once in a semi final of a competition, <laughs> which I won <laughs> 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 on the pavement. It was the fucking skag nest chuckle hut new act of the year. <laughs> <laughs> a win's a win. Baby. <laughs> w is a W. <laughs> oh mate, I remember once I was in the final of Bradford New Comedian of the Year. You know, the big one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so I, I did the semi final, uh, obviously just fucking twatted it. And uh, <laughs> the, the closing act, you know, where the judges deliberate, mm-hmm. um, they had a closing act on who was a Peter K tribute act. But he as was. In, I like, he officially build himself as that, or just one of those Northwest guys that does <laughs> it? Yeah. <laughs> It was, it was my character. <laughs> oh, I swear to God, when you said Mike, I thought you was going to name <laughs> Pro Evo. <laughs> Mike character. <laughs> I thought you was going to go, like Mike. Oh, no. sorry, no. Back in time. This guy closed, but as himself. And he was so far removed from Peter K, friendly, jovial. He was horrible. He was like, you know what he's like? When you, when you, uh, you, go, you can't afford uh, a washing machine. You can't afford a washing machine. Tell you what you do. You put your clothes in a bath with an epileptic. 
<laughs> but that sounds more complicated than getting a washing machine. Well, he didn't though. even. He didn't even say. Do you remember <laughs> once? So I, I know. Fucking so no. Wait, so you just find up electors. You buy them. No. So he gig. <laughs> <laughs> so he, he gigs as himself yeah. and PK um, tribute yeah, act. Yeah, yeah. So I, I'm doing the final, and uh, the finals in Bradford, and it's um, you know fucking round table e- event. Mm. The winner was from Bradford. <laughs> Oh, he was very good. Don't get me wrong. Um, and uh, on every uh, centerpiece of the table was uh, an evening with. Uh, <laughs> I'll have to do the fucking pro evo. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Wig and butter. That was so quick. So, wig and butter. <laughs> that was very smart. You can hear that, can't you, on the headphones? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't kept one of these pro emo names quiet yet. <laughs> Not one. <laughs> this is my favourite podcast. Burning <laughs> 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 bridges. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, man, I'm never going to kick again. <laughs> Becky, you better fucking book me here, man, because I'm done. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Right. Wig and butter. <laughs> yeah, so there's the advertising. <sighs> Lee lad, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I won't oh. do the... Oh, oh, blacklist on the tribute scene. <laughs> Oh, go fuck yourself. Oh, you fucking make all clone versions gonna be off the chip, Alan. <laughs> simply red, simply you bastard, I can't do it anymore. Oh, simply dead. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost control. Oh, oh God. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'd advertise on 25 quid an evening with Lee Lard. I was like, 25 quid? That's more than what Peter K would pay. <laughs> anyway, I come runner up unjustly. Uh, Should have won. <laughs> and the guy, this guy comes up to me, and it's like six months in, so not had any real paid gigs really. And I'm doing a charity event. I'm doing a charity event. Uh, what are you to do it? Uh, how much do you charge? I don't know, I don't know, fifty quid. You know, I don't know. Right, right, right. He looks around. On you now. I've got Lee Lard for the grand. Um, what? <laughs> You've got that cup for a grand? Grand? He's 20 times better than me. <laughs> <laughs> but the charity is nice as well. Yeah. Fucking sickos. Yeah, I, 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 I've got some. Have you seen that uh, video of a guy doing an hour-long set of Peter K at his mum's birthday? What? Have you not seen it? No. Oh, it's one of the best videos of all time. Oh, I don't want to watch that. I'd rather watch so, that Korean film. So it's it's <laughs> bunch of walls. <laughs> it's it's absolutely horrific. So it's all disco lights, and he's got an iPad there with all his bits. Garlic bread, and it's mate. It's we're pro evil. Peshwari nan. Peshwari nan. <laughs> Peshwari! <laughs> and then! Nan! Oh, fuck off. Oh, what, just... What's cheesecake? What's cheesecake? I lost the final once. Hot Water Comedy Clubs with a pill comedian here. Oh my god, who Guess won? You beat me. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Pro Evo. Guess. Pro Evo. Uh, Adam uh, Slow. Andy. <laughs> Andy Sale. <laughs> Adam Slow. Uh, Adam uh, Slow. That's not quite pro evil. Uh, Anthony Snail. <laughs> Sale. Yeah, Adam beat me, the little bastard. Uh, well, to be fair, I went And where is he now? Yeah, wait. Oh. <laughs> Imagine if I would have won that. Where would you be now? I'd still be a Hot Water's Green Room podcast because if you cut me, I'd bleed hot water, baby. Yeah. That's how loyal I am. What? Hey, now. Try and sign us. I went round and told everyone that it was like, like, he cheated. For years, but he, <laughs> he, he didn't. He was How just do you cheat? 
Well, I don't know. I just said like he paid the judges now. <laughs> but now nah, you just best at me. But now nah, I've grew up now, Adam. Sorry for all of years. Um, and you out, you was best at me. And congratulations. And I'm glad that you're successful now. Uh, and thanks for agreeing to come on here on the second of April. Uh, Jeez, buddy. Which will be released on the and then we could we could talk about it then in depth. How you rigged the final. <sighs> it's all a con in it. It is. You know what, mate? It's not about competitions. It's about going up, doing the art that we love. And going home and feeling fucking shitty after it. Oh, the worst. It is. It's the worst come down ever. Cause Nothing it's, worse. Cause it's, there's, there's no better drug than going on stage and roofing it. There's no you better drug. You were saying drug. earlier about like, doing MDMA our long though. shows. MDMA yeah. is what? <laughs> MDMA is class. <laughs> 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 yeah, if, yeah. You're deba- if you're 18, you're like, oh, I don't know what to do. Should I go to my open mic? Should I do MDMA? Do MDMA. Yeah. MDMA is faster. You don't have to spend stop swallowing uh, years getting s- good at MDMA. Stop swallowing all the gigs. <laughs> don't take drugs, yeah. You don't have to buy a mustard jumper and wear dungarees <laughs> to get recognised as a good MDMA user. Just go and take all the drugs, right? Go home and, and go and ruin your family. Yeah, yeah. kill no, yourself. Because just we don't want yourself. you cunts on the Why scene Why don't you yet? just fucking you kill funny? yourself? Why don't you just no. kill yourself? <laughs> you want <laughs> euphoria? The biggest euphoria is that second before you die. So why don't you cut yourself, cut a main artery? It's great to be demonetised on YouTube, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, make sure you pay £3 a month, yeah, otherwise we've got to kill ourselves. Yeah, and leave it in your will, you selfish cunts, like you wanted to carry on. <laughs> leave everything to the Hot Water Green Room <laughs> podcast. <laughs> What a great sentence. You were saying about the fucking hour long show. Yeah. Because after it, if you roof a 10, you, the come down's horrific. Yeah. The fucking doing an hour now as well when you come off. I can't fucking. Can't sleep. It's awful. Lying but it's like, like uh, you're just like. Ah! It's Someone's, like emotionally drained, isn't it? Someone put it well. Like, see, when you do a gig, roof it and then get on the train. And you're like, oh, it's yeah. not fair that they don't know. Oh, no. Yeah. The people on the train, like, why have they not. Why are they? You get like stand innovation, and then you go on the train, and they're all just sat there, and you're just nobody. Because you've been, pr- you've at that point, you've you're like you're the fucking guy. Yeah. And then when you're on the train, you're just another fucking rat in the rat race. <laughs> you're just, you're just scumbag. Fucking <laughs> you're a fucking scumbag, you know. Man. Right. Well, on Colin Victoria was scumbag, which he is. Um, so you're a that? fucking nice scumbag. Yeah, oh, thank, you. thank you for coming on. It's I, I, a pleasure. I think that's my favourite guest. I think that's I my love everyone guest. else, obviously. But and you said it's your favorite podcast. Oh yeah, yeah just because <laughs> just because he's here. <laughs> shit on people. I <laughs> know. <laughs> oh, no. oh, we're getting cancelled and ignored. Can't cancel someone who doesn't yeah. who doesn't give a fuck. And ignored by the industry. You can't cancel someone who doesn't get any gigs. <laughs> <laughs> that's me as well. <laughs> Right, that's an episode. Thanks a lot. Um, yeah. Go and join up to Hot Water Screen Room Podcast. You get 48-hour early mm-hmm. access. You get a bonus episode every week for just £3 a month. We've got great guests like Vittorio and loads of others are your favourite comedians on the circuit. We're going to get on. Um, I'm Jamie H. Comedy on Twitter and Instagram. Tony, where can they I'm find Tony you? I'm Tony Carroll 14 and would you like to uh, give you a little plug out for your podcast as well and your Yeah, socials? it's called Vittorio's Podcast because I'm, I'm bad at branding. <laughs> 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 I was just sick of trying to come up with names for podcasts. <laughs> Vittorio V I double T. Best of luck with the rest of it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Vittorio's podcast, Vittorio and it only on Instagram. I'm doing shows all over the country at the minute. Actually, I'm booking in Liverpool preview soon um, and all over the place. So if you're around, come say hi. I'm happy with the show. Yes, and you should come absolutely see fantastic it. comedian on the circuit coming up. So please go and support him if you like what you're seeing today. He's a brilliant comedian. So go and support the live comedy. Sweet. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>